from the students of Penn State Meteorology, here is your Penn State Campus Weather Service forecast. Happy Friday, Penn State. I am your meteorologist, Paul McElaychuk, here with the Beaver Stadium live look at what is taking place right now. We do have some of those low-hanging clouds as a result of some rain moving in, and unfortunately that rain is going to be with us for the next uh, several hours or so as we are expecting those showery conditions to persist. It feels like 57. We do have that visibility at 7 miles, uh, and that south-southwesterly wind at 10 miles per hour is keeping those dew points into the middle 50s and uh, it's in the 50s as well looking across the state and uh, we really can't see too much looking at our Nittany Valley cam temperature of 57 degrees and uh, looking at how things shape up across the rest of the state it is in the 50s here in State College also in Williamsport and Selins Grove also in the 60s though in Altoona and Clearfield as we are seeing those showers across the state and where the showers are taking place we do have temperatures in the 50s where there are some breaks temperatures are managing to get into the lower 60s but uh, look at to the west right here we are expecting some lower temperatures to swing from west to east where those blues are eerie already dipping down into the upper 40s thanks for the overview on temperatures paul now let's take a look at those temperatures as we head out into Friday afternoon. This evening you see that cold air really starts to make its way down across the state from the northwest and as we head overnight statewide we see temperatures fall off lower 30s in the northwest part of the state but we still stick around 50 degrees for your Saturday morning in the Philly area heading into Saturday afternoon. Things warm up in the southeast part of the state. We see 60 degrees in Philly, 52 here in State College and Erie in northwest regions remain colder with highs only reaching the mid lower to middle 40s and heading overnight into Sunday morning, we see temperatures fall off once again, uh, generally in the upper 30s to around 40 degrees. But you see this little area of warmer air here to the south and east. There is a pretty strong frontal boundary in areas in the far southeast region of the state, such as Philadelphia, uh, Philadelphia may remain quite warm overnight Saturday, heading into the day on Sunday. Now let's take a look at that radar. You can see showers are pretty widespread across the state especially in western regions. Currently, Pittsburgh experienced some, some moderate to heavy rainfall, and that will pivot north and northeast throughout the state as we head throughout the rest of your day on Friday. Looking out into the bigger picture now, you see this is all associated with a large low pressure system that's making its way to the north and east, and with it, we'll see those rain showers. So that rain, <clears throat> excuse me, should move out uh, later this evening, excuse me. Um, and overnight, things clear out quite a bit. As you can see, by 5 or 6 o'clock this evening, most of the showers are out of central Pennsylvania and clearing overnight. Aside from maybe a leftover scattered shower in the Scranton area, things clear out for the most part. But look at this. Wow. April, end of April here, and we're dealing with some snow showers for northwest regions of the state. Could be a scattered flurry or snow shower, especially in areas like Erie or Bradford as we head into the morning on Saturday. And as we look into Saturday afternoon, clouds begin to increase in the western part of the state. And once again, wow, we see this wintry precipitation overspread the northern and central parts of the state. Don't expect too much accumulation with this, but definitely could be interesting with some flakes in the air as we head overnight Saturday and into your day on Sunday. And again, that's for northern regions of the state, especially with elevation. And then by Sunday afternoon and evening, we clear out and things are nice for later in the day Sunday, although breezy and cool. All right, thanks, Jake. As we take a look out to the wind gust, you can see State College sitting at 20 miles an hour, Williamsport gusting up to 23, and Scranton up to 24. And as we move on, heading into your 12, here are the current conditions heading on to 8.30 tonight. You can see wind gusts pick up in Johnstown, State College staying about the same, 25 miles an hour, and Erie gusting about 30. And for most of the state, statewide, you can see mid-20s to upper 20s and 30 miles an hour with the exception being Scranton at 9 miles an hour and as we keep going you can see these wind gusts pick up through Saturday as State College gets up to 31 miles an hour Franklin up to 19 and for the rest of the state including Philadelphia 23 miles an hour Thanks, Ryan. And now for your current conditions for today, tonight, and the moving on concert. For today, we'll be seeing a high of 62 degrees, rain, and chance for some thunderstorms, winds coming from the south 15 to 20 miles per hour, and gusts up to 30 miles per hour. 
for tonight. We'll be seeing a low of 41 degrees, a chance of showers, winds coming from the west 15 to 20 miles per hour, gusts up to 35 miles per hour. And for your moving on forecast with moving on concert, it should be a great concert, except it might be a little chilly and it might be a little wet. But otherwise, it should be a whole lot of fun. Thanks so much, AJ. Looking at tomorrow, we're going to have increasing clouds throughout the day with a high of 53, so it's going to be a little bit colder than it's been for the past week or so. We'll have winds blowing uh, from the west of 15 to 20 miles an hour with gusts up to 40 miles per hour. So it's going to be real windy out there, so be careful if you're out and about. It'll make it seem a little bit colder than 53. And uh, now looking out over your seven-day forecast. So for today, moving on and everything else that's going on for Friday, we have rain with 62 degrees as your high and 41 as your low. For tomorrow, Saturday, partly cloudy skies with a high of 53 and 40 as your low with some windy conditions as well. Sunday, we get some more precipitation with some rain early Saturday overnight into Sunday morning with a low of 34. So a chance for some snow showers, as we were mentioning earlier, for some of the northern portions of the state where it's going to be just a little bit below freezing, so keep an eye out for that, maybe uh, Sunday morning. Uh, and then Monday, mostly sunny with 59. Tuesday, we get a bit of a warm-up to 69 uh, with cloudy conditions. And then a few showers on Wednesday and Thursday to end your work week next week in, with highs in the middle 60s. So now, thank you very much from the Campus Weather Service. Everybody wants to bring it in here. Um, it's been a great semester. Thank you guys so much. I'll uh, bring everybody in here real quick. Paul, get it. Paul, get up front, man. <laughs> uh, thank you guys very much. It's been a great semester, and uh, thanks for tuning in. Bye-bye.